पेपर नंबर नाइन वन फोर और सिक्स वन नाइन सिक्स वन नाइन पेपर नंबर नाउ इन दिस वन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन टू थर्टी फाइव दिस फाइव आर बेस्ड ऑन सिलाजम्स नाउ इन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन सम ऑफ द जार्स आर कंटेनर्स सम जार्स आर कंटेनर्स कैन बी रिटर्न लाइक दिस सम जार्स आर कंटेनर्स दिज आर द जार्स विच आर कंटेनर्स and next one no container is a bottle no container is a bottle means no intersection between container and bottle all dishes are bottles all these dishes are bottles now this is the basic diagram some jars are containers no container is a bottle and all dishes are bottles and the first conclusion is no dish is a container dish is here container is here isn't it now dish is here and container no intersection between these two Hence, the first conclusion definitely true. Then coming to the second one, all jars can never be. Can stands for what? Can stands for a possibility, isn't? Let us work out this one afterwards. Once the first conclusion has been finalized, no dish is a container. In order to make this one false, the first conclusion we need to draw an alternate diagram. Then what is the complementary? Some of the dishes are containers. Now some dishes are containers means dish can must be here. Can you draw dish like this? If you draw dish like this, all dishes are what bottles. Then bottle will also come along with this one. If bottle comes along with this, then no bottle is a container will be false, isn't it? No container is a bottle will be false. Statement invalid. Alternate diagram cannot be drawn. This will be true forever. Done with this. Now this is about the first definite conclusion. And the next one is all jars can never be bottles. All jars can never be bottles means. now how to represent this one all jars or bottles is not possible that's what we mean by can never be can never be means all jars or bottles is not possible can stands for possibility never means not hence not a possibility clear now then what we need to prove here now all jars now we need to check out whether it is possible or not All jars can be bottles or not? Tell me. All jars can be bottles. Now tell me whether I can, whether we can draw bottles like this. If you draw bottles like this, isn't it? Then, then what is the statement here? No container is a bottle will be false because container and bottle. This is the intersection of these two. Is it possible or not possible? Not possible. His claim is also that it is not possible. Whatever he said is true or not? Yes. Then what is your answer? Both the conclusions follow. Both one and two. And it is given choice four. Clear now? Question number thirty-one. It is choice four. Hence, hence, whenever you come across this, can never be. Always represent that one as is not a possibility. Done. Then question number thirty-two. Now in this thirty-two, all rollers are kings. All these rollers are what? All rollers are kings. And all kings are soldiers. All rulers are kings. All kings are soldiers. Some soldiers are ministers. Some soldiers are ministers can be written like this. Then what is the first conclusion? All soldiers are kings. True or false? That is false. Second, no minister is a ruler. No minister is a ruler is definitely true. As a second conclusion, true. It is a negative conclusion. Now to make this one false, now we need to prove some of the ministers are rulers. Some ministers are rulers means no minister and ruler. Tell me whether we can draw like this or not minister and ruler. And alternate diagram proven. Previous conclusion will be false. After making the previous conclusion, then we need to check out the conclusion, affirmative conclusion, which was false in the basic diagram. Now all soldiers are kings. Now also all soldiers are kings is false, isn't it? Hence neither one nor two. And it is given choice five. Question number thirty-two. Choice five is the answer. Then thirty-three. Some lights are noises. Some of the lights or noises can be written like this: light and noise. And no sound is, no sound is a light. No sound is a light can be written like this. Intersection between sound and light is completely ruled out. No sound is light. Then the first one: all sounds are lights. All sounds are lights is false. And second, some sounds or noises is possible. Some sounds or noises is possible or not? Now tell me whether we can prove like this or not: sound and noise. Yes. And some sounds or noises is possible. Then what is your answer? Only conclusion two follows. Only conclusion two that is choice three, thirty three. Then coming to question number thirty four, 
all rollers are kings all these rollers are what all rollers are kings and all kings are what all kings are soldiers all rollers are kings all kings are soldiers some soldiers are ministers some soldiers are ministers can be written like this then the first one is a possibility second one is a definite conclusion all rollers are soldiers is definitely true then let us check about the first one possibility all ministers are kings is possible isn't it now minister tell me whether we can write this minister like this or not again all the statements are affirmative for a possibility you can write as a single diagram hence both one and two follow both one and two that is choice three question number 34 choice three is the answer then 35 all huts are apartments all these huts are apartments and all apartments are bungalows all huts are apartments all apartments are bungalows and next one no palace is a hut no palace is a hut can be written like this no palace is a hut then first conclusion some palaces are apartments some palaces are apartments is false and all huts are bungalows that is definitely true and so only the second conclusion is true and the second one is what second one is an affirmative conclusion that will be true forever hence question number 35 choice 4 is the answer done with this question number 31 to 35 then 36 onwards now question number 36 m is the brother of j m is the brother of j can be written like this and j is the father of d j is the father of d d is married to k d and k are married couple and l is the son of k l is the son of these two persons d and k and s is married to l s is married to l means s a female married to l a male and t has only two daughters k and f now this t is having only two daughters one is k and another one is f as k is married to d d is a male and f is again a female and t has only two daughters k and f y is the son of f y is the son of whom y is the son of f and q is married to y now this q a female is married to y now this is what the information we have how is j related to l now else father is d father's father father's father is grandfather that is choice one 36 then question number 37 how is t related to d where is t here t is here. the gender of this t is not known as the gender of this t is not known hence it is cannot be determined 37 it is choice one cannot be determined then 38 how is k related to y how is this k related to y y's mother is f mother's sister mother's sister is aunt aunt that is choice two 38 choice two is the answer then question number 39 to 43 now in this 39 to 43 these questions are based on coded inequalities now first one the relation between z and q q z and q z is here and q is here isn't it z and q tell me what is the letter which is common between these two t is common isn't it now we need to move from z to t z lesser than t and t and t and r t lesser than r z less than t t less than r and r equals to q r equals to q means q and r we can take at the same place then what is the final conclusion z less than q definitely true or not conclusion one definitely follows then coming to the next one second conclusion v and t now between v and t there is only which symbol is common greater is common hence v greater than t definitely true hence what is your answer both one and two follow both one and two choice three question number 39 choice three then 40 i and r i is here and r is here now between these two if you observe here there is one greater than and one lesser than two opposite symbols hence no relation can be drawn between these two and the first conclusion is false then coming to the second c and q c is here and q is here now in the place of r equals to q in the place of r you can take it as q now the relation between c and q is what c greater than and lesser than two opposite symbols this is also false hence neither one not two that is choice three is the answer question number 40 choice three then 41 now in this question number 41 r and o r is here and o is here tell me which letter is common between these two s is common isn't it now the relation between r and o s is here 
S less than O is here, isn't it? S less than O. Now the relation between R and O, one less than and one greater than two opposite symbols, since no relation can be drawn between these two. Then coming to the next one question, next conclusion P and M. Now P and M, tell me which letter is common here? M is here and P is here. Now the letter which is common between these two is? Tell me which letter is common here? P greater than S, isn't it? P greater than S, now S less than M. Now P greater than S less than M. Then what is your answer here? Now no relation between these two because two opposite symbols. As there are two opposite symbols, second conclusion also does not follow. Hence neither one nor two follows. Choice 4. Then 42. Now in this question number 42, the relation between M and K. Between M and K, one less than, one greater than, that is false. And second one, P and M. Now in this P and M, tell me what is your answer here, P and M? Now P greater than M. M is here, R equals to P. In the place of R, we can take it as P. M less than P, P greater than M. Hence so only conclusion 2 follows. Only conclusion 2 follows, that is choice 4. Question number 42, choice 4. Then 43, now in this 43, the relation between E and T. Now between E and T, tell me which symbol is common, greater is common, E greater than T, definitely true. And the relation between G and K, between G and K, there is one greater than, one lesser than, two opposite symbols. The second conclusion does not follow. Hence only conclusion one is true, choice four is the answer. Now this is about question numbers 39 to 43. Done with this five? Then 44 onwards, now question number 44 onwards, these are based on, these five are based on coding and decoding. Now first one, plan your diet chart and fruit diet is healthy. Now tell me which word is common between these two? Diet is the only word which is common between these two. As diet is the only word which is common, tell me what is the code which is common here? The code which is common between these two is KH and the code to the word diet is KH, isn't it? Then compare the first and the third, plan your chart and fresh and healthy fruit. No word is common between the first and the third. And first and fourth, plan your chart. Here plan and chart are the two words which are common. As plan and chart are the two words which are common. Plan and chart are the two words which are common. Then tell me what are the codes which are common here? Plan and chart. And two codes which are common, L I B N, B B N L I, it also B N L I, isn't it? Hence B I L N are the two codes which are common. And what is the word left over here? Your is the word left over, and the code which is left over is P A. Hence the code to the word your is P A. Done with this? Your is P A. Then compare the second and the third. Fruit is healthy, isn't it? Now between the second and the third, tell me which, what are the words that are common? Fruit and healthy are the two words which are common. And the two words which are common between these two, fruit and healthy. And the codes which are common between these two are fruit and healthy. Tell me what are the codes which are common? AM, RA, TX and ST. Hence AM, ST. It also AM and ST are the elements which are common. AM and ST. Done with this? Then. Now in the second sentence, each is the only word which is left over and the code which is left over is NY and the code to the word each is NY. Then compare the third and the fourth, and is the only word which is common and the code which is common between these two is RA, isn't it? RA is common and the code to the word and is RA, RA and RA. Now in the third statement, fresh is the word which is left over and the code which is left over is TX. And the code to the word fresh is TX. And make is left over here, ZO. And the code to the word make is ZO. Now these are the words and their corresponding codes. Done with this? Then, coming to question number 44. Now in this one, what may be the, maybe means it is a possible code. Here the question is about a possible code for make your day. Now make your day, make what is the code to the word make? ZO and your. And the code to the word your is PA, ZO, PA. And the next one, day. Yes, day is nowhere given in any one of these sentences, isn't it? Hence, ZO, PA, 
choice one can be your answer and two cannot be your answer and z o p a three cannot be your answer and fourth one z o p a ends between one and four we are left with now one and four z o p a now tell me whether n e can be the code to the word day n e yes as n e is nowhere present here hence it can be the code to this word day now fourth one if you observe here k h now tell me whether k h can be the code to the word day no because day k h is the code to the word diet hence it cannot be the code to this word day hence this is ruled out then what is your answer only one is answer question number 44 choice one then 45 what will be the code for a fresh diet yes what is the fresh here fresh is tx and diet is kh and tx kh tx choice three question number 45 it is choice three then 46 in the given code language what does the code bn stands for now this bn stands for what now what does the code bn stands for now this bn as bn is for what either plan or chart isn't it either plan or chart that is choice two it is b and not b a choice two the next one 47 now in this 47 what is the code for healthy in the given code language yes tell me what is the code to the word healthy either am or st either am or st that is given in choice three and 48 what is the code for the word is as the code to the word is is and why choice one is answer now this is about question numbers 44 to 48 and these five are based on coding and decoding done with these five then let us start with question numbers 49 to 53 now in this question numbers 49 to 53 qrst u v w a and x are sitting around a circular table at equal distance between each other but not necessarily in the same order some of the people are facing the center while some of the people are facing away from the center and same direction means that if one person is facing the center then the other person also faces the center and opposite means if one person is facing the center the other person must be away from the center and so on then coming to the conditions here q sits a second to the right of r now q is seated second to the right of r tell me how many persons are there eight persons one two three four five six seven eight some are inward and some are outward is given hence we need to first finalize then if there is any information regarding inward or outward and q sits a second to the right of r r faces the center clearly given r faces the center this is r now this r is facing towards which direction center and q sits a second to the right of r q will be here done with this and only two people between q and x as only two people between q and x x can be here or x can be here how many possibilities do we have two possibilities only two between q and x and t and s are immediate neighbors of x two people between q and x t and s are immediate neighbors of x as t and s are immediate neighbors of x x cannot be at this place are you following this one or not as x cannot be here the second case is ruled out to this x hence we are left with only this one x will be here if x is here then how many possibilities do we have if t is here s will be here and the second possibility eight persons one two three four five six seven eight now r is facing the center and q is here if t is here sorry x is here x at this place t at this place and s at this place how many possibilities do we have two possibilities and t and s are immediate neighbors of x and u sits to the immediate left of s u is to the immediate left of s as u is to the immediate left of s s is away from the center u will be here and u is to the immediate left of s s is towards the center u will be here are you following this one or not u is to the immediate left of s and v sits out to the left of t as v is seated out to the left of t hence v must be here this is the only possibility if v is here then this t is facing towards the center then only v sits out to the left of t is valid and in this case v must be here if v is here this t must be away from the center then only v sits out to the left of t is valid immediate neighbors of v facing the same direction immediate neighbors of v are facing the same direction r and q are facing the same direction r is center q is also center immediate neighbors of v 
Q and R are facing the same direction. Immediate neighbors of V face the same direction, isn't it? And U and Q face opposite directions. As U and Q are facing opposite, Q is center, V will be away. Q is center and V will be away, isn't it? Immediate neighbors of V face the same direction. Then next one, U and Q face opposite directions. U and Q. Now Q is facing the center, U will be away from the center. Here Q is facing the center, U will be away from the center. U and Q face opposite direction. W sits second to the right of X. As W seated second to the right of X, X is here, W must be here. Second to the right, X will be away. Now W sits second to the right of X, W is here, X is towards the center. W sits second to the right of X, W is not an immediate neighbor of Q. And W is not an immediate neighbor of Q in the first case, W and Q are adjacent to each other, isn't it? And this case is completely ruled out. And this is the second one. W sits second to the right of X. And W is not an immediate neighbor of Q. Next one. Immediate neighbors of T facing the same direction. Immediate neighbors of T are T and W. X and W are facing the same direction. And next one. And W and V face opposite direction. W is facing the center, V is away from the center. That information is not at all required. Done with this one? Now this is how these eight persons are seated around this circular table. Some inward and some are outward. Then, first write down this one, question number 49. Four out of the following five is nothing but an odd man out. Q center, X is also facing the center. W is also facing the center, S is center, and T is away from the center, except to T. The remaining four persons are facing the center, T is away. Then question number 50, and which of the following is true regarding W? W faces outside, true or false? W faces outside is false because W is facing the center. T is one of the immediate neighbors of W, definitely true, choice two. Question number 50, it is choice two. Then 51. What is V's position with respect to S? V's position with respect to S, S is facing the center, 1, 2, 3. V sits out to the left of, out to the left, that is choice 1. Question number 51, choice 1 is answer. Then 52. Now in this 52, who sits to the immediate left of Q? Q is facing the center and V is to the immediate left of Q, choice 3. Then 53. How many people? in the given arrangement facing the center. Tell me how many are facing the center here? One, two, three, four, five. In total, five are facing the center, three are away from the center. Five that is given in choice five, 53. Now this is about question numbers 49 to 53 based on circular arrangement, inward and outward. Then question number 54. Now in this 54, it is based on directions. A is 35 meters to the west of B. B is here. A is, what is the distance here? 35 meters. A is 35 meters to the west of B. C is 25 meters to the south of A. And C is not 25 meters to the south of whom? South of A. And D is 60 meters to the east of C. From here, D is 60 meters. 60 meters, as of now it is 30, and the remaining will be 25. And in total, D is 60 meters to the east of C. And D is exactly midway between E and F. D is exactly midway between E and F. And E, D and F form a vertical strike line of 50 meters. E, D and F total length is how much 50? Out of which E and D is 25, D and F is 25. Because this D is exactly midway between E and F. Then F is to the north of D. As F is to the north of D, F is here. And the distance between these two is 25. And if it is 25, and E will be here, and the distance is also 25. Because the total distance between E and F is 50, D is exactly midway between these two. And F is to the north of D. Now the question is about what, how far and in which direction is point F from point B, isn't it? Now we need to identify the distance between these two. Yes, tell me what is the distance here? The total horizontal distance is 60, out of which this is how much 35, and 60 minus 35 is how much? 25. Uh, that means up to here it is 35 and the remaining will be 25 meters. Now this F is towards which direction? East. Hence 25 meters east, 25 meters east that is given in choice 4. 
54 choice 4 then 55 how far and in which direction is the market from his friend's place where is the market here and market from his friend's place now first this person started isn't it started from point sorry question number 54 and 55 are different isn't it okay 54 is done now coming to this question number 55 now this is also based on directions a person starts walking from his friend's place to the market now let us take a is the friend's place a is the friend's place from here towards the market he walks for 30 meters towards south now this is 30 meters towards south and he takes a 90 degrees right turn and walks for 15 meters and this will be 15 meters right hand side and 15 meters 90 degrees right and 15 meters again takes 90 degrees right and walks for another 50 meters from here 90 degrees right hand side and he travels for how many meters 50 meters and walks for another 50 he then walks for 30 meters after taking 90 degrees left turn from here 90 degrees left turn how much this person has traveled 30 meters 30 meters 30 meters after taking 90 degrees left turn turning 90 degrees towards his left again he walks for how many meters 20 meters now the distance traveled by this person is 20 towards south and to reach the market now a is the starting point that is his friend's place and b is the marketplace now we need to find out how far and in which direction is the market from his friend's place now if you observe here in this one vertical distance now 50 towards which one north and 30 south 20 south 30 south 20 south hence in total south is how much 30 plus 20 50 south 50 south and 50 north vertical direction will be zero hence these two persons these two places are in a horizontal direction isn't it because vertical direction is zero then what is the total horizontal distance 30 towards west 15 towards west same direction add these two hence 15 plus 30 that is how much 45 now this 45 is towards which direction b is towards which direction this is towards west now the question is about b rather than a hence 50 meters 30 plus 15 45 meters towards west choice 4 question number 55 choice 4 is the answer done then 56 to 60 now in this 56 to 60 tell me what is given here 8 friends e f g h p q r and s 8 persons e f g h p q r and s 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now 8 persons e f g h p q r s are seated in a straight line facing towards north isn't it same direction h sits forth to the left of q and either h or q sits at one of the extreme ends of the line now we should start from this one by doing so we can have the possibilities and h sits forth to the left of q h is here forth to the left of q q will be here 1 2 3 4 that is the first part then 1 2 3 4 and 5 6 7 8 and h sits forth to the left of q 1 2 3 4 h will be here are you following or not h sits forth to the left of q either h or q sits at one of the extremes of the line only two people between q and g as only two people between q and g in the first case g can be either here or here there are two possible but as in the second case q g must be at this place only one possibility and either h or q only two people g does not sit at any one of the extreme ends of the line as g does not sit at any one of the extreme ends of the line g cannot be here as g cannot be here then what is the possibility g must be here only then hence g must be here then g does not sit at any one of the extreme ends of the line e sits second to the right of s s is here e sits second to the right of s s is not an immediate neighbor of q s is not an immediate neighbor of q s cannot be here and s cannot be here and similarly s cannot be here as well now in the first case tell me whether s can be here or not if s is here e and q must be in the same place which is not possible hence s cannot be here as well s cannot be here cannot be here cannot be here cannot be here cannot be in these two places because second place to the right hand side of s is e and the first case is completely ruled out because there is no place left to this e at all then coming to the second one s cannot be at this place because if s is here q and e must be in the same place 
and S cannot be here because if S is here, then G and E must be in the same place, not possible. And if S is here, then E and H must be in the same place, which is also not possible. And S cannot be any one of these places. The only place left over for this S is here. If S is here, E must be here. Do you know? And E should be second to the right of S. Next one. S is not an immediate neighbor of Q. R and F are immediate neighbors of each other. As R and F are immediate neighbors, if R is here, F will be here. Or if R is here, F will be here. There are two possible. R and F are immediate neighbors of each other. F is not an immediate neighbor of Q, hence F must be here. If F is here, R is here. If R is here, then tell me who is the person left over? P is the person left over, hence P must be here. Done with this? Now this is about row arrangement. Eight persons seated in a row, and all these eight persons are facing towards north only. Then question number fifty-six. Now in this fifty-six, so who among the following sit exactly between Q and G? Q and G. Tell me who is that person? F and R are the two persons. F are choice four. Then question number fifty-seven. And based on the given arrangement, which of the following is true with respect to P? Both F and R are immediate neighbors of P. F and R are immediate neighbors of P. That is false. Only two people between P and E. That is also false. P sits to the immediate right of H. That is also false. And choice for two persons sit to the right of P. Yes, only two persons sit to the right of P. This is also false. And none of the given options is true. That is choice four. Done with this. Now this is about question number fifty-seven. Choice four is done. Now fifty-six. Now fifty-six done. Exactly between Q and G. Now Q and G. F and R. We had discussed about that one. Choice four. Then fifty-eight. Now this question number fifty-eight. Who among the following represent the person seated at the extreme end of the line? Who are the extreme end of the line? S and Q. S and Q. That is choice two fifty-eight. Then fifty-nine. How many persons are seated between R and H? Between R and H, tell me how many are there? There are only three people, and three that is given in choice four. R and H, R and H, sorry, only two people. Between R and H, there are only two people. F and G, two that is choice one, fifty-nine, and sixty. Now in this question number sixty, what is the position of F with respect to Q? F is seated second to the left of Q, second to the left, choice one. Now this is about question numbers fifty-six to sixty. Done with this. Then sixty-one to sixty page again based on a puzzle. Now in this one seven floors are there floor arrangements. A, B, C, D, M, N, O live on seven different floors of a building, but not necessarily in the same order. The lowermost floor of the building is number one. The one above that is number two, and so on. Till the topmost floor is number seven, and each one of them likes a different mobile brand as well. Seven persons living on seven different floors, isn't it? And they are, and they likes different brands of mobiles. Now we need to identify who is staying on which floor and the brand they likes. Now floors were given, and whenever the floors were given, fix the floors at the center. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hence, it was in total seven persons. Living on seven different floors, extend the lines like this, wherein we can work out two possibilities simultaneously. Then, condition number one. Now, M lives on floor number four. This is a definite information given, and so I'm fixing M at this place. And only two people live between M and O. As only two people live between M and O, how many possibilities we can have? O, only two people. O can be here, or M is here. O can be here. How many possibilities do we have? Only two possibilities. Only two people between M and O. Only four people between O and the one who likes lava. Between O and the one who likes lava, one, two, three, four. And the one who likes lava must be on floor number one in first case. And in second case, between O and lava, one, two, three, four. And the one who likes lava must be on the sixth floor. Done with this. Only four people between O and the one who likes lava. The next one. And she lives immediately above. The one who likes lava. C is immediately about the one who likes lava. In the first case, C must be on the second floor, and in the second case, C must be on the seventh floor. 
she lives immediately above the one who likes lava and the one who likes sony lives on an even number floor now the one who likes sony lives on an even number floor hence in the first case sony can be either on the second fourth or sixth isn't it sony lives on an even number floor but not immediately above him but not immediately above c c lives immediately above the one who likes lava and the one who likes sony lives on an even number floor but not immediately above c but not immediately above c then tell me what are the different possibilities we can have to this one sony can be either on the second floor fourth floor or sixth floor isn't it done with this only four people between o and the one who likes lava sorry now only four people between o and the one who likes lava and the one who likes lava must be on the second floor isn't it because only four people one two three four only four people between o and lava hence here second floor is ruled out hence either four or six and in this case now sixth floor is already lava either in this one either two or four now in the first case the one who likes sony could be either on the fourth or the sixth floor and in the second case the one who likes sony could be either on the second or the fourth floor and the one who likes sony lives on an even number floor but not immediately above c isn't it but not immediately above c m does not like sony as m does not like sony in the first case four is ruled out in the second case also four is ruled out then this sony must be in the first case on the sixth floor and in the second case now the one who likes sony must be on the second floor done with this then m does not like sony only three people live between a and the one who likes sony between a and the one who likes sony tell me how many people are there there must be exactly three one two three hence a and c must be in the same place is it possible yes and immediately above m does not like sony first statement no m lives on the floor number 4 two people between m and o and c lives immediately above the one who likes lava and c lives immediately above the one who, c lives immediately above the one who likes lava and c must be at this point done with this and if it is the case then there are three persons in between isn't it no c lives immediately above the one who likes lava and the one who likes sony lives on an even number floor but not immediately above c immediately above c then next one m does not like sony we have taken three people live between a and the one who likes sony 1 2 3 a and the one who likes sony a must be here isn't it only three people between a and the one who likes sony it also sony must be on the second floor then and the one who likes sony the one who likes apple lives immediately below a apple lives immediately below a in the in both the cases the one who likes apple must be on the first floor isn't it and the one who likes apple lives immediately below a immediately below a the one who likes sony lives on an even number floor but not immediately above c m does not three people live between a and the one who likes sony a and the one who likes sony Yes, are we getting the same case? No. Here it is second. Here it is fourth. And in this one, A will be here. Now three persons live between A and the one who likes Sony. A and the one who likes Sony as A is here. Now where should this Sony be? One, two, three. Hence, Sony must be the one who likes Sony. Must be on which floor? One minute. first condition m lives on floor number 4 two people between m and o two people between m and o four people live between o and the one who likes lava 1 2 3 4 4 in between o and the one who likes lava next one and c lives immediately above the one who likes lava c is immediately above the one who likes lava and the one who likes sony lives on an even number floor but not immediately above c and sony but not immediately above c hence it could be either 4 or 6 and next one and m does not like sony as m does not like sony now we are left with the sony can be either on the second floor or on the fourth floor then 
only three people live between A and the one who likes Sony. A and the one who likes Sony, as M does not like this one, Sony must be here. If Sony, then only three people between Sony and A. In the first case, A must be on the second floor. And in the second, and in this one, and only three people live between Sony and this one. The one who likes Sony lives on an even number floor. Even number floor, two, four, and six. And out of which, this four is ruled out. And the one who likes Sony must be here. Isn't it? As Sony is here, then how many persons in between? Sony and A, there must be exactly three people. Here, one, two, three. Here, one, two, three. Hence, A must be on the sixth floor. Isn't it? Now, in between A and Sony. Then, only three people live between A and the one who likes Sony. And the one who likes Apple lives immediately below A. Apple lives immediately below A in the first case, Apple on the first floor. And in the second case, the one who likes Apple must be on the fifth floor. And the one who likes HTC lives immediately above the one who likes Intex. HTC is immediately above the one Intex. HTC immediately above the one Intex. Now in the second case, we have only one possibility. Now in this case, HTC on the top four, fifth floor, Intex will be on the fourth floor. Or HTC is here, Intex will be on the third floor. There are two possibilities, five and four or four and three. Out of which C does not like Intex. As C does not like Intex, Hence, in the first case, C index cannot be on the third floor. Hence, HDC must be on the fifth floor, and the one who likes index must be on the fourth floor. Done with this? And only one person lives between B and D. As only one person between B and D, and B lives on one of the floors below D, that means between D and B, there must be only exactly one person. There must be exactly one person between D and B. Now, tell me whether D can be at this place. No. D cannot be here. Can D be here? No. Can D be here? No. And the first case is completely ruled out. Now we are left with only the second case, wherein D is here, B will be here. If D and B are here, A, B, C, D. And who is the person left over here? A, B, C, D, M and O. M and O, this will be N. And which is left over here? Micromax. And next one, O does not like Samsung. As O does not like Samsung, and so where should this Samsung be? O does not like Samsung because Apple is already here. That means C likes Samsung. If C likes Samsung, then what is left over? And Micromax is left over. And this O likes Micromax. Done with this? Now this is how these seven persons are staying on seven different floors. And each one of them likes a different mobile brand as well. Then question number 61. If all the people are made to sit in alphabetical order from top to bottom, here he is talking about top to bottom, then how many people remain unchanged? Now top to bottom means, now tell me what is order here? Now this must be A, B, C, D, M, N, O. Then tell me how many persons remain at the same place? Only two people, N and O, remain at the same place, N and O. Done with this? Only two people. That is choice 3, 61. Then question number 62. Which of the following mobile brands does D like? As D likes Apple, choice 1, 62 choice 1. Then question number 63. And which of the following combinations is true with respect to the given arrangement? Apple N. Apple N that is false. And Samsung C. Samsung C that is definitely true. That is choice 2. 63 that is choice 2. Then 64. 64, which of the following statements is true with respect to the given arrangement? And the one who likes Sony lives immediately above O. Sony lives immediately above O, that is definitely true, choice 2. 64, choice 2. And finally, question number 65. And who among the following lives on the floor number 1? On the floor number 1, O, the one who likes Micromax. O, the one who likes Micromax, choice 3. Now, this is about paper number 19. Question number 31 to 65. As done with these 35? Any doubts in these 35? 31 to 65. Next. Now, number series. Number series 71 to 75. Now, in this 71 to 75, 
first as the numbers are increasing at a very smaller rate it must be under which category difference now 1 and the next difference between these two is 5 and 5 and 76 and 295 what is the difference here 19 isn't it and next 295 and 360 the difference is 65 then what should be the next difference 1 5 19 65 tell me what could be the difference between these two 1 5 1 5 19 65 1 5 19 65 and the next one then if you go for the difference what is the difference here 4 and 14 and next one now 19 and 65 how can you express this one 19 into 3 57 plus 8 is 65 and 5 and 19 5 into 3 plus 4 into 3 plus 4 and here into 3 plus 2 now check out this in 2 4 8 and the next one must be into 3 plus so how much 2 4 8 16 into 3 plus 16 65 into 3 65 into 3 is so much 195 195 plus 16 is so much 11 isn't it that means 211 should be added if you add 211 to this 360 and the answer will be 571 571 that is given in choice 2 done with this now in the difference within the difference here combination is used into 3 plus 2 into 3 plus 4 into 3 plus 8 and into 3 plus 16 and so on and this is about question number 71 done with this then question number 72 now in this question number 72 152 82 213 and so on 152 now the number decreased once from there onwards it has started increasing 100 to 52 tell me how to express this one and 213 and 152 100 into 0 0.5 is how much 50 plus 2 is 52 and 52 into now point this is into 0 0.5 and 52 and 82 52 and 8 into how to do, how to express this one 52 into 1.5 52 plus 26 is how much 78 78 plus how much plus 4 point 0.5 plus 2 1.5 plus 4 and the next one 82 and this one 82 into 2.5 tell me how much is that 410205 isn't it plus 8 plus 8 is a different 0.5 plus 2 1.5 plus 4 2.5 plus 8 and the next one must be how much into 0.5 into 1.5 into 2.5 next one is into 3.5 plus 16 then tell me what is your answer here and into 16 213 into 3.5 plus 16 and it will be 761.5 choice 2 done 761.5 choice 2 question number 72 each of these numbers are multiplied with each of these numbers is multiplied with 0 0.5, 1.5, 2.5, 3.5 and so on. 2, 4, 8, 16 are added. Then question number 73. Now in this question number 73. 12, 13, 13, 99. Now 12, 13, 30, 99, 412. Then what should be the next one? Again if you observe the choices, the choices are in 2000s. As the numbers are increasing at a very faster rate. Hence, it must be under product or combination. 12 and 13 cannot be written in the product. Hence, it must be combination. Now, 99 and 400 can be written as 99 into 4. 396 plus how much? Plus 16. That is into 4 plus 16 can be written as into 4 plus 4 square. Next one, 30 and 99 can be written as 30 into 3, 90 plus 9, 99 into 3 plus 3 square. Next one, this one, into 2 plus 2 square. That is 4 and this is into 1 plus 1 square into 1 plus 1 square into 2 plus 2 square into 3 plus 3 square into 4 plus 4 square next one is into 5 plus 5 square what is into 5 4 12 into 5 is how much and 20 and 6 2 0 6 0 plus 25 that is 2 0 8 5 and is it there in the choice or not choice 3 is the answer 2 0 8 5 choice 3 question number 73 done with this question number 73 choice 3 is the answer 2 0 8 5 then 74 5 and 7.5 yes, so how to express this one 5 and 7.5 again if you go with the choices all the choices are in thousands 2000 hence it must be under product or combination 
and 5 and 7.5 can be written as 5 into how much? 5 into 1.5, isn't it? 5 into 1.5 is 7.5. 7.5 into how much? Into 4 is 30, isn't it? And 30 and 225. 30 into 7 and 15. <coughs> that is into 7.5. Are you following or not? 1.5, 4, 7. Point. Then what are the differences between these numbers? 1.5, 4 and 7.5. 1.5 and 4, how much is added? 2.5. And 4 and 7.5, how much is added? 3.5. Next one, how much should be added here? 4.5, 7.5 plus 4.5 is 12. The next number must be multiplied with how much? 225 into 12. As tell me, what is the answer here? 2250 plus 450 and that will be 2700. 2700 that is choice. Two. The given numbers are multiplied with 1.5, 4, 7.5 and 12. Now the relation among these multiplications were given here. Differences between those numbers will be 2.5, 3.5, 4.5. And this is about question number 74. Then coming to 75, 127, 128, 133, 147, 177. Now if you go for the difference. Now these numbers, yes, tell me what is the relation between these numbers? Now 127 and 128 can be written as the difference is 1. Next difference is how much? 5. And next difference 33 and 47 can be written as 33 and this will be 14. And the next one is how much? 30 is the difference. Then find out the next difference. Yes, what is the difference between these two? 4. And here the difference is 9. Here it is 16. This 4, 9, 16 can be written as 2 square, 3 square, 4 square. And the next one must be 5 square, 25. And 30 plus 25, how much should be added to this one? 55. 177 plus 55. Yes, what is the answer here? 7 plus 5 is 12, isn't it? And 232 choice 4. And this is about question number 71 to 75, paper number 619. Done with this? Yes, any doubts in this paper? Anything to be explained once again? 